black swans are a species of large monogamous water bird distributed across Australia. They exhibit a wide variety of feeding behaviours in order to effectively feed on aquatic plants. This diverse range of feeding behaviours allows the swans to effectively collect food, and without these behaviours, they would likely have a fate similar to arts graduates, dying of starvation, a slow and painful death. One of these behaviours is dipping, where the swan will submerge its head and neck underwater to reach plants and algae that are otherwise inaccessible, while keeping the body parallel to the water. A variation of this behaviour is found in the form of upending, where to reach far beneath the water, a swan will tip completely forward and lift its tail up in the air. Dipping may be exhibited more often in a shallow environment, while upending may be more effective if the water is deeper. These feeding behaviours are possible thanks to the manoeuvrability of the black swan's exceptionally long slender neck that allows for distant plants to be gathered efficiently. Black swans have over 20 neck vertebrae, which is several times more than the 7 neck vertebrae that are found in humans. This long neck also allows them to effectively clean their feathers around the body via a behaviour known as preening, which can involve the drawing of feathers through the swan's bill. This allows swans to maintain the integument of their waterproof feathers that facilitate efficient swimming and navigation of the aquatic environments in which black swans are found. Because of this, black swans, as with many bird species, often spend a significant amount of time preening. However, there is a question. When the swans reach the water grass when dipping, how do they put it out of water? Do they put water grass uproot? It's a species of filter filter bird. These guys, they have tooth-like structures called the serrated lamellae, which can serve as a function similar to the incisors of the ruminant animal. With the tooth-like structure, the swans are able to clap and cut soft plant materials, and they have a powerful bite. The serrated lamellae can also serve as a filter. When they dabble at the surface of lakes, Water and dirt flow through the gaps among lamellae, and small organic matter are trapped. The food is then swallowed by combined actions of bills and necks. Other filter filter birds, including ducks, geese, and flamingos, have similar dabbling behavior like the black swans. These filter feeders play important roles in clearing fine water, and hence, they can be considered as ecosystem engineers. So as you can see, black swans are able to effectively feed using varied foraging behaviours facilitated by morphological adaptations such as their long necks and serrated lamellae. Now to just smoothly hop back into the water- ah!